Hey, Kid News fans. As you know, we're always working to increase the news IQ of our listeners. Now there's a way to help them improve in all sorts of subjects. IXL is an online learning platform helping millions of K-12 kids up their academic game. 75 scientific studies back up the boost they'll get in math, science, reading, and social studies. Kids get instant feedback and explanations. Parents get reports showing what's working and where more help might be needed. And right now, Kid News listeners can try it out for 20% off when they sign up at IXL.com slash Kid News. Check out the monthly and annual memberships at IXL.com slash Kid News. Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Kim. Today is Friday, August 23rd, 2024. And we begin with a toothy great white surprise on the shores of Nantucket. Vacationer Liza Phillips was playing beach football with her family when she thought she spotted a beached whale. It turns out the floundering fins belong to a massive great white shark. Despite an understandable amount of fear, Liza and a friend waded into the shallow water and gave the struggling sea creature a couple of big body shoves to get it back into deeper water. Seconds later, it was on its way. Liza credits a surge of adrenaline for her once-in-a-lifetime experience, telling the Nantucket Current, touching a great white, that's not even something you put on a bucket list because it's just so unbelievable. And dangerous, adds marine scientist John Chisholm. Most people know to avoid the business end, the mouth, he told Boston.com, but may not be aware that shark skin is very rough and being slapped by a thrashing tail can also do damage. He recommends anyone in a similar situation notify a lifeguard or local authorities. Updated COVID vaccines are now en route to doctors' offices and pharmacies all over the U.S. The FDA signed off on the new shots from Pfizer and Moderna yesterday, hoping to temper another surge of sickness this fall and winter. According to NPR, the new drugs are designed to target the latest strain of the virus, which keeps evolving to evade the immunity people have built up over time. COVID cases have been on the rise in the U.S. since mid-May, and experts believe another wave could be on the horizon. According to the FDA, the vaccines aren't perfect because the variants they were designed to target have already been overtaken by newer ones, but they should help protect against severe illness, especially for those at higher risk. Talk about a gem of a discovery. A Canadian mining company operating in the southern African country of Botswana has unearthed a massive 2,492-carat diamond, making it the second-largest diamond ever found and the biggest in over a century. Botswana's president, Mogwitsi Masisi, unveiled the fist-sized sparkler, which weighed in at just over a pound, at a special ceremony yesterday. The company used a relatively new technology, known as Mega Diamond Recovery X-ray Transmission, to make the flashy find. No word yet on what the giant rock is worth, but a smaller diamond from the same mine previously sold for $53 million. Botswana is known for producing the world's largest diamonds, including six of the top ten largest to date. Pythons don't just stretch their stomachs after a big meal, they stretch their hearts, too. Scientists have long known that pythons go months without food and then devour prey, sometimes as big or bigger than their own bodies. Now they've learned that after a big meal, python hearts become more flexible to handle the resulting digestive strain. Researchers compared the hearts of fasting pythons with those that just finished chowing down and found that the fed python's hearts were 25% bigger. This unique ability helps the reptiles manage their extreme eating habits. Scientists hope maybe one day this knowledge could help treat heart disease in humans. The study appeared in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Big changes are landing at Portland's International Airport. The main terminal recently reopened following three years of construction and a $2.15 billion upgrade designed to bring the outdoors inside. Visitors will be welcomed by dozens of trees, thousands of plants, and plenty of bright natural light. One of the architects involved in the project said the new design aims to enhance the traveler journey and reduce stress. And on that note, seasoned Portland travelers will be happy to learn that visits from therapy llamas and alpacas, also meant to help reduce stress, will be returning to the terminal as well. 
still to come, living proof that age is just a number. But first, our Kid News Quiz. What type of animal did a beachgoer help back into the ocean? A great white shark. How much bigger can Python's heart stretch after a hearty meal? 25%. In what country was the second biggest diamond in the world discovered? Botswana in southern Africa. Travelers to Portland's International Airport can find what types of therapy animals roaming the terminals. Llamas and alpacas. And in our Kid News Kicker, she's lived through more than a century of history. And at 116 years old, Tomika Ituka is now the oldest living person in the world, according to the Guinness World Records. Since her birth in 1908, Tomiko has maintained an active lifestyle, playing volleyball at her all girls high school, and later in life, scaling the 10,062 foot Mount Ontaki twice. Tomiko raised four children and during World War II managed her husband's textile factory. She enjoyed taking long hikes until well after her 100th birthday, which her family credits as the secret to her longevity. And in case you're wondering, her favorite food is bananas. Before we go, shout outs for our teachers Ms. Kaminsky at Lincoln in Hammond, Indiana. Mrs. Gaspar at Benchley Weinberger School in San Diego, California. And Ms. Jamie and Ms. Donna at Milestones Charter in Phoenix, Arizona. Thanks for listening. For classroom shoutouts and family sponsorships, visit our website at kidnews.org. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here for more Kid News Monday morning. <laughs>